This video was recorded August 1st showing the dumping operation of over 60,000 tons of lime sludge being removed from the Mount Vernon City, West Storage Lagoon at the intersection of Route 229, also known as Old Delaware Road, and Harcourt Road, just west of the West High Street Bridge, over the Cocosing River, and moving it, to this dump site, on 13 acres of city-owned land, off of Route 229. This aerial view is not of the man-made, 8-foot deep storage lagoons, but where the city is, open dumping, the lime waste after it is moved from the lagoon. This operation has been ongoing continuously for over 60 days with an uncovered dump truck, entering the dump site just west of the city's water treatment plant every 4 minutes. In April the Mount Vernon City Council authorized spending $750,000 to be used to empty the solid waste from the one of two, maxed out storage lagoons and then offered the lime sludge free to farmers starting on June 1st, who would then spread it on their farmland. This was poor timing, since many farmers already had their crops planted. Furthermore, Farmers stated that they can only use this byproduct when it has a water content lower than 15%. Standard practice would suggest that the accumulated dewatered lime should be removed periodically from the lagoons, and applied to agricultural land owned and farmed by local farmers, but the city has no contractual agreement in place. It was stated that after the offer was made June 1st to local farmers for the free lime, that only one farmer was interested. Many indicated that the lime sludge has too high of a water content for them to be able to spread the lime onto their fields. The water treatment plant provides drinking water to the residents of Mount Vernon and nearby villages and townships. As part of the water treatment process, lime is used to reduce the hardness of the water. The water treatment plant produces a calcium and magnesium based solid byproduct commonly referred to as lime sludge, which is moved to the storage lagoons. The lagoons have reached their storage capacity, requiring the city to empty them of the solid waste that has accumulated over years of city mismanagement. It appears that the city does not have a yearly sludge management plan for agricultural land application for the sludge generated at the water treatment plant. This is another example of the city's lack of planning and again creating another emergency cost to the city residents. The EPA requires that waste material of this kind that is placed anywhere on the ground surface cannot be located any closer than 300 feet from residential buildings. You can see at the 3 minute and 4 second mark on the video, that one of the 8 adjacent property owners is approximately 190 feet from the lime waste. The Ohio EPA is also concerned about runoff issues. Due to the high alkalinity of the waste material, when exposed to aquatic organisms and rivers and streams, the lime waste in high concentrations, may produce significant harm to the ecosystem. The Ohio EPA toxicological reports indicate that this lime waste may contain crystalline silica, which has been classified as a cancer-causing carcinogenic to humans when inhaled in the form of quartz, cristobalite, and or tritomite. Long-term exposure to crystalline silica may result in silicosis, lung cancer, or other respiratory diseases. One of eight neighbors who borders directly the dump site property, David Daniels, asked the city of Mount Vernon on July 25th to stop hauling lime sludge from the city's lagoon past his house, to this landfill site just south of the township residence. As can be seen from the air, Daniel said that the sludge has turned into slurry and spilled into his property, and his neighbor's property. In addition to health and safety concerns to area residents, there are serious concerns about how this will negatively impact on property values. Nobody wants solid waste behind their home. Daniel said that the city does not have a permit from the EPA to haul sludge from the lagoon to the field next to the water treatment plant. 
Under the current permit obtained, he said the sludge, when moved from the lagoon, must go out to farmers. The city has acted without the proper state permits and without regard to the impact on the public health and property rights.